I seem to be mounting quite a bit of dishwashers these days and this is an odd one. There is a substantial gap here that I can fit my whole fist in there. A good three inches um, that needs to be filled in there. And over here, there is nothing for this to mount to. Well, they make a neat little device that can mount to the side of the cabinet here and the other side if it's available. This dishwasher mounting bracket. We would put that right there. We'd epoxy it to the to the countertop and then we would mount it on both sides but this one doesn't exist. So we're gonna have to get a spacer block put in its place. Fortunately somebody had a spacer block here but as you can see they cut the top of it and there's a hair hair too short. That's a problem. So we have to paint this anyway. I'm gonna get a piece of wood to adhere to the top of it and then we'll uh, adhere all three pieces to the countertop. Then we can mount our dishwasher. I've decided instead to use a piece of finger joint. Use a piece of this finger joint that I found. I'm going to put it on the inside span of the dishwasher here. Mount it from side to side from the inside and just put two nails or two screws into it and then I'll put my riser or my uh, spacer block here and paint the spacer um, with some leftover paint I'll paint that uh, finger joint all right I'm gonna cut this piece get it inserted and we'll go from there okay just learned a couple of things one I left my drill at a previous site but two I took out one of the screws for the support bracket and instead put a construction screw in there. For those who don't know what a construction screw is, one of these bad boys has a torque spit on the end. And now our top plate is secure. So the other thing we have to work on is the spacer here. We're gonna make this a little taller. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to add about, well, Let's say an inch and a half, two inches. Yeah, about, about that. We'll have to cut a piece of this uh, finger fingerboard, uh, that stuff, and we'll glue it and uh, pin it to this, since I don't have a drill to pilot the hole and drill it. And then we'll probably have to use a nail gun to secure this to the cabinet next to it. All right. Well, that was a bit of a chore. I didn't have my drill with me. Now I have my impact, but it's not too friendly with drilling through cabinetry like this. So what I had to do is use, basically use what I had. I didn't even have my cabinet screws to uh, put the spacer block in here. I must have uh, put it in a, in a bag and left it at the house, but here we are. So what I ended up using was a pilot hole bit and a couple of construction screws to drill it, uh, pilot it, and uh, ad ad adhere it. I also used a couple of uh, square head, pan head uh, screws for mounting the dryer or the dishwasher. You can see here, broke those tabs off. That actually worked out really well. I'd use a, uh, a nailer, an 18 gauge nailer to adhere this. I'll uh, put a little bit of caulk in here and I'll uh, get that right. And here is one pilot hole you can see, one pilot hole. For those curious, it was this bit, but aside from a little bit of movement on there, that's solid. Um, this is definitely solid. That's not going anywhere. So we'll put some tape up, we'll get some uh, caulk and start painting this sucker and we'll be out of here.